Television has a new voice of reason with the financial wisdom of Susie Orman and the wit of Medea. How much was that purse? The purse, 600. So mm -hmm. How much money do you have in there right now? I have three credit cards. And okay, maybe... how much money do you have in the purse right now? It's an easy, simple question, Mrs. Jones. Is it zero? Yes. Okay, let me help you understand the universal purse test. If the purse costs more than the amount of money you can keep in it on a regular basis, leave it on the rack. She has a spending problem. She is the one who needs help. You gotta zip that lip. I took the money because she owed me. I'm not a walking bank. She is more concerned about me. She's lying. I want to whoop you in this courtroom, but they won't give me no belt to whoop you with. Debtor's Court with Lynn Richardson. Tell me your story. Well, my story, the reason why I'm here today is because I'm tired of my mother. She has a spending problem. She doesn't know how to manage her money. She's always asking me for money. I have a three-year-old son to take care of, and it's like continuously, nonstop, she's calling me, oh, I need this, I need that, I'm hungry. And of course she's my mother, you know, Judge. I want to help her because I love her. But it's just coming to a point where it's like, I can't continuously help her, and she can't continue to keep using me, and like, I gave her $100 for food, and she thinks she don't have to pay me back. And I'm sick of it. Like, I'm a nice person. I feel like she's taking advantage of me. And I just, I need for her to understand I'm human just like she is. She needs to really realize, like, okay, I am your daughter, but I'm not a walking bank. Okay. Miss Mackey, tell me your story. Oh, uh, what she's saying... It's, it's, it's vice versa. It's, it's not. Uh -uh. No, talk to me. No, don't, don't talk to your mother, please. All right, and no. make sure you maintain respect. But I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. Miss Mackey, speak is, to me. She is the one who needs help. She takes her money and give it to guys. She has a little kid. I always constantly watching her little kid for her. She doesn't offer me a dime. That kid, he's special. He needs special attention. He's very hyperactive and everything. And she just takes her, and her money and, and don't get the things he did. I take my money and buy it and take care of him. And she don't want to give me anything, but she will go out with a guy and give the guy all her money spent for hotel. She is the one that don't manage money right. She is the one that is really wrong. All right, tell me, what do you do for a living? Well, I am home supported service mm -hmm. and um, I work in a convalescent home. Who raised you? Who raised me? Mm -hmm. My grandmother. Your grandmother, and you get paid to take care of her? Yes, That's I That's a labor of love, yes, I understand that. And how much money do you bring in in a month, taking care of between what you get from the state and the convalescent home and taking care of your grandmother and the, and the other person? About well, 1500 more a month. About 1500 uh, Do you all live together? No, we don't. You don't live together. No. Okay. Tell me what you want to say in response to what your mother, Ms. Mackey, said. Well, first of all, I want to say that she's lying. She's lying because I take care of my son. And, yes, he does have special needs. But I do everything for my child. I don't spend my money on men. She has a man that she's been taking care of for years, and she's trying to put all her blame on oh, me. Hey, wait, wait. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it because... How? Go on. Because she knows she's wrong. Like, she stole $260 off of me and my son's card and think that she wasn't supposed no. to pay it back. Mm -hmm. That ain't how it went. Hey, she... Miss Mackey. Miss Mackey, come on now. I need you to Bye. stop. Okay. She's Tell not... me what happened with the card, with the money on the card. Which card okay. was it? Yes, ma'am. I received benefits from my son. Mm -hmm. um, Cal, Cal, the Cal Fresh program. Mm -hmm. He gets three ninety two, and I we went that night. We got into a disagreement. Mm -hmm. She was saying she didn't have money. She was desperate. She was going through her situation, so she got desperate. And I was getting ready to leave. He called me at Uber so I can go to my friend's studio, and um, I I wind up leaving my purse there. And my brother so happened to know my pin my pin code. So he, she, they got into a little uh, talk and was like, yeah, let's go get her money off. Let's go uh, see how much we can get off and, and uh, leave her a, a little remaining balance. Who told you that? Who told you that that's what the conversation was? My brother. Your brother told you that. How old is yes. your brother? He's 25. How old are you? I'm 29. And when did this happen? This happened, I want to say, going uh, about a year ago. Okay, so let me just ask you this question. Did you get the money off the card? Tell me the truth. I didn't get the money off. My son did. 
Okay. And what did he get the money? Did you know that he got the money yes, off the car? Yes, I did. Yes, I and did. And what was it for? It was uh, me and, uh, from... I took the money because she owed me. She owed me for babysitting her kid and everything. And all she was going to do was just leave and go take this guy to a motel somewhere and pay for the room and buy him drinks and, and all kind of other stuff and have a good old lolly guy, a good time with him. Okay. And when she won't pay me, so okay. she slipped and left her. Um, and I meant that I, uh, me and my son did, you know. So you and your son did. Okay. Yes, me So and he my actually, son he did. went and... Actually robbed the bank, but you were the accomplice. Yes. Okay. Oh, I, I, All right. I, I mean, Doesn't it feel good to just tell the truth? Why did you do that? Because, like I said, I was upset. She always know, never think about what I do for her. She's always thinking about guys. I always want to be with guys, 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 and I care about family and her baby more. She's telling the story. She is more concerned about men. Are you a single mother? You raised her by yourself or is yeah, the father? Her father, he's paralyzed. Okay. Yeah. And is your father a part of your life? No. He's not a part of your life. How no. long has he not been a part of your life? Or Since when was the last time he was ever a part Since of I your life? Since I was little. You were a little I can't girl. I remember. Okay. And so when she's out with me, now how, you're 29? Yes. She's a young lady and she's pretty. And she's going to have men in her life. And some of them are not going to be right. As a matter of fact, some of them are going to be downright wrong. But guess what? She got to learn the same lessons you did. Because you was with a low down somebody. Now, I don't mean any disrespect to your father. And you still need to forgive him because he brought you into this world. But you are penalizing her with your emotions for the mistakes you made. Come on now. You love each other. This is your mother. This is your daughter. Now, what I love about you is you're financially responsible. And it might seem like a struggle, but you've got enough money here to pay your bills. You've got a little bit of money left over, but not a lot, Mom, not a lot of money. And you can't penalize her by committing a crime. God don't authorize you to go rob a bank and feed the homeless. So you think you're doing something good to right or wrong, but you can't do it the wrong way. You got to do it the right way. And it starts with a hug. Hug each other right now in this courtroom. And apologize to each I'm other. Sorry, Mom. Love you. Love okay, you I forgive too, you. Okay? But still, it's, it's, now, but yes, it's, it's, you're right. But no still. It's not, but here's the deal. This what? is, we've got a new set of rules. Do you love your grandson? I love him. And how yes, often do you have to keep him? Uh, like on the weekends when I'm not working or something, I, okay. she bring him over on the weekend. All right. Yeah. Now, but when I wasn't working, I had him every like every day. Yes. Now, technically, Grandma, you should not charge for keeping your grandchildren. You just shouldn't do it. Yeah. That's just wrong. You know, honey, in the in the community, my dear Grandma, them raised my grandmother raised me too. Yeah. As a matter of fact, she yeah. owed my mama some money. <laughs> you understand me? You're right. You're right. right. She owed right. her. Right. But the but... truth is, if Mom needs a little help, because I'm right. looking at her That's income, it. That's yes. all. if she help. needs a little help. Then just give her a little help just because That's it's it. the right thing to do. Right. Yes. Just because right. it's the right thing to do. But you can't demand it from her, okay? And then you can't talk about how she lives her personal life. You can let me tell you, I have three daughters. And this is the agreement that I have with my daughters. I say, tell me everything. They say, but Ma, you can't say nothing. I was like, oh, <laughs> which one do I want? Do I want to know? Let her tell you things, but you gotta zip your lip. <sighs> now you know mama don't have no money to pay you back. How are we gonna make this happen? Can she work it off? Can she help you start a business? Can she help you with some internet work or whatever the case may be? I would love to open up a business with her. And I've actually talked to her. You can even ask her. Okay. I was thinking about us opening up a food business. Well, I love we can for sell you to serve your singing wait, career. Wait, wait, still you have talk a very to me. Talk voice. to me. Now, what, what is it? What is it now? I wish she pursue her singing career because she has a very lovely voice. Okay. She can sing real good. Well, first of all, you need multiple streams of income. So that's the yeah, other issue exactly. here. But I like the idea of you starting a business that you can earn money on. Yes. And then she can work on her voice because that money is not going to come right now. I want you to take things one step at a time. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pay the $260 that she owes you. I'm going to pay it. I'm going to pay the $260 that she owes you. Okay? You don't have to. I'm going to pay it, and I want you to forgive her. I forgive you, Mom. Okay? I regret that I did do it. Y'all. Okay. I regret it, really. Okay? I did. All I right. Regret now, it. here's what we're going to do. I'm going to issue a ruling. There's a couple things that we need to do. Mama, I want you, I want a career revival order for both of you. I want a career revival order for everybody because you need additional income. You can't raise a young man 
in today's world with the money that you're making. You can't do it. And you can't live and pay the bills that you're trying to build with the money that you're making. So the way you're going to work off some of the mistakes that you've made and you've admitted, you're going to help your daughter start this business and you're going to cooperate, all right? Mm -hmm. We're going to contact you. I want to see you both in six weeks and I don't expect there to be any bickering. And you changed the code on your card. Do you yes. understand me? Yes. All right? Yes. So, <laughs> I'm going to do that. Change yes. the code to a number because she's smart. She might figure it out. Honey, don't take no birthday. Don't do no uh, anniversary. No social birthday. None of that. Because, honey, it she'll get that code and then you'll be back in here. I'm going to throw you in jail okay. next time. Do you oh, understand no, me? Uh, uh. All right. Okay. We're not going to do that. No, okay. No. This is my ruling, a career mm-hmm. revival order. I'm going to pay your debt. Case adjourned. Wow. This case was a bit of a doozy. Anytime you have a daughter and a mother bickering, it's not good for the family. It's not good for the child. It's not good for the siblings. It's not good for the community. It's not good for the world. Here's what went wrong. The daughter didn't set boundaries. And the mother had many expectations, some of which she did not make clear, so she resorted to being dishonest and stealing. What I love about this relationship is their willingness to communicate and their willingness to, at some point, even though I had to drag it out, to speak the truth. The brother apparently was stuck in the middle. He really wasn't on his mom's side. That's why he told his sister what happened. So teamwork makes the dream work. And I'm looking forward to these two working together to start a business so everyone can win. Debtor's Court with Lynn Richardson. Thank you.